Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f- everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. All right, guys, so today we're gonna do our first 10 hour maintenance, which is greasing basically, of our loader and our backhoe. This is a 2023 Coyote DK6010 SE with a hydrostat transmission. The loader and the backhoe get greased every 10 hours or as, as you think they need to be greased. If they sound like they need grease and it's before the next 10 hours, you give them a couple squirts of grease. So all I'm doing is I'm just squeezing it until a little bit comes out right inside there. That's it. So it's usually about two or three pumps on my uh, my grease gun here. So, so first I'm gonna go along to each one of these grease zergs and just take the rag and wipe off all the, the dusty, dirty grease around them. So when I go to grease them, I don't introduce any contaminants or, or dust or dirt into each one of these points here. Okay, it's time to start greasing. There it is. All right, so the loader is done, it is greased. Time to move on to the backhoe. I will be getting gloves because uh, this stuff's getting all over my hands. I don't have any of those gloves here right now. I have them at home, but I don't have them here. Oh, this one's gonna be hard to get to. All right, I just finished wiping down all the grease zerks, get all the yucky stuff off of there. But now it's all over my hands, so I gotta go wash my hands. All right, so the backhoe has a lot more grease points than the loader does. There's a lot more moving parts on the backhoe, obviously, than there is the loader. Some of them are kind of hard to find. Like I, I skipped over one over here. I ended up finding it when I was on the other side, wiping the other ones down. But uh, hopefully I don't miss any of them right now. Wow, so that one took a lot, a lot of grease. I don't know why, that one seemed to be completely dry inside. That one was difficult to take off for some reason. I had to use a pair of channel locks. So I don't forget, I'm not gonna do any of the, the top pivot points until I get on the other side.
So a bit of an observation I just made. This pivot point right here, I kept pumping and pumping. It seemed like there was nothing in there. It took quite a bit for me to actually see it come out over here. And looking at this pin that goes through right here, there was no grease on it. It was shiny on both sides of the hinge point here. So this one may not have gotten greased. I don't know. Well, maybe they didn't put much in it, but probably something to think about uh, when you buy a new tractor, you might want to go ahead and throw a little grease on some of them that don't look like they have any grease on them. Okay, so a couple of things I learned from doing this. This is my first time greasing a loader and a backhoe. First thing I learned was some of these take a lot of grease because they weren't probably given enough grease when they were assembled. Um, and others only require like one squeeze or even a half a squeeze before you start to see it come out the, the seams around the pins. So you just have to be very careful and watch it. The other thing I learned, which I didn't figure out until right about here, or here, was after you do your first initial wipe down of the grease zerks before you start greasing, they're all nice and clean and shiny. You start greasing, when you pull the, the grease gun off there, don't wipe that down yet. Just leave it covered in grease. As you continue, you'll notice which ones you've already done because they're covered in grease. And the ones that are still shiny, you haven't greased those yet. <laughs> I just figured that out right now. So, all right, that's a successful completion of greasing of the uh, backhoe and loader. We're good for another 10 more hours. Okay, so now that we've got the tractor all greased, it's time to put this puppy back in service. Thanks for following along my tractor series and my channel in general, if you would please, Hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of future tractor videos and other videos I put out on my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.